I started this bakery because I have two passions. One is baking and the other is female empowerment. So baking really empowered me to have like a stronger determination to become better. Moist and soft cookies, butterfly cakes, and creative ice cream flavors all come from Pin Din Watanawit's strong passion for desserts, which turned into her online bakery named The Rolling Pin. Apart from its indulgent sweetness, this bakery also aims to empower women to feel good about themselves while enjoying the desserts. While being bold, sexy, and free is the key mission, Pin revealed that it actually began as the result of a negative comment she received on social media. Before I started the rolling pin, I took a picture of myself eating the cookie and the, my friend commented like, are you trying to sell yourself or are you trying to sell your sweets? So that like made me quite upset and so I tried, I made it my mission to um, show that women can be both sexy and free and not like, and should not be judged. Um, I describe my customers eating experience as getting cookie climax, getting chocolate gas in to like, you know, to make them feel good because being able to feel good from within is empowering and it makes you feel more powerful, makes you feel more confident. Pin's crazy love for baking began when she was only seven years old, when she was flipping through her father's cookbooks and found herself wanting to make these recipes herself. She started baking seriously when she turned 11 and her parents fully supported her and invested in making her dream a reality. My parents, they know that I love baking so much. Like they know I'm crazy about baking um, because I always like talk about food. I always talk about sweets. They always support me. And my mom, she invested in my, um, in my business and she said, and she really wanted me to succeed and she didn't want anything back from me. So I really appreciated that, that she like supported me unconditionally. Having a sweet tooth, however, is commonly associated with weight gain, which often discourages women from eating desserts. Pin strongly believes that everyone should be allowed to enjoy what they want to eat as long as it makes them happy. It's like a sweet escape, you know? You should not be thinking about your calories intake. If you want to eat sweet, just eat sweets and be happy about it. And like when you eat sweets, you choose the best sweets that work the calories you're like taking. And I think that like, um, it's normal for people to think that they're gonna get fat because it's sweet, but I think that they should not body shame and I think that they should in instead like embrace who they are and then and eat sweets in a moderate uh, moderate level. <laughs> Running her own business comes with a number of challenges. As the female founder, Pin admits that sometimes she didn't get the same respect compared to her male business partner, who is also her boyfriend. Despite the struggles, Pin said that her boyfriend always encourages her to become a better person. I think the biggest challenge would be getting the same respect as men. Um, even though like I'm the founder, but like when I like interview new people and they don't know that I'm the founder, they would treat my male business partner like um, with more respect and at first it discouraged me it made me feel sad but now i try not to like not to think about it and, and i try to like overcome the bad feeling and i try to improve myself and by like reading more so i can become better <laughs> Empowering Thai women would be something important to me because um, my mom and my grandma always empower me to become a stronger woman. They, um, they empower through being a ro good role model to me. And my grandma and my mom work really hard. My grandma is already 87 and she still goes to the office sometimes to like sign some papers. So that's how hard she works. And so it made me feel like, okay, I'm gonna work till I'm like that old too. <laughs>